got a whole new setup here. Um, and in honor of that, I just kind of wanted to make a casual video. It was one of my favorites, the old B Golden Arcadia from Ravast. This is the scale that I should have bought first. Um, I remember when I was first getting my first Ravdast. It was 2020, pandemic had just started, and I was really interested in getting a drum like this. At first, I saw an Amazon ad for or, or a YouTube something for one of the small tank drums with mallets, and I thought, wow, that would be cool to just have like a nice little instrument to to mess around with, make nice sounds. And of course, I did all this research, and I found the Ravvast, and I ended up going with a Ravvast B Universal Scale, which was the B Russ, I think they're calling it Universal now, which is part of the name. Um, but this was my second choice, and I went with the B Russ, and I got this later. And got rid of the B Russ because this was the one that I really preferred. And I have the Celtic and the Curd and whatever. So, anyway, um, after getting the first one, quickly got another one. The, the addiction set in. I tried a few other. Something just fell over there. I tried a few other tongue drums. Uh, one I really like is right here. Uh, I got myself a hand pan. I don't know if you can see it. I have my axiom up there. But I still feel like the steel tongue drums are where it's at. Super customizable. A lot of scales available. A few different generations of them. Super into it. I bought a guitar, tried to teach myself guitar, couldn't play guitar. I still have an 88 key keyboard. Can barely play piano. so beautiful and everyone has a different sound because they're all different scales I love it you know some of them overlap and, and you, you might not want to have two scales because they're similar but with a few like I have here I don't know how many you can see you have such a wide variety of sounds it's my favorite I think this is my favorite right now but then when I pick up this a integral I think it's my favorite you know when I pick up something like this is like a Celtic ish I think a Celtic's my favorite if I grab this one up here I think major is my favorite <laughs> B major what else I got an astronaut and a pygmy and a curd so many scales are all so good uh, and I can't wait to see the new drums 
that will come out in the future. Particularly, Ravvast is working on making a change to their manufacturing process, moving to a different country. They're going to have a, a different finishing process. I'm very excited to play those. Anyway, just wanted to hang out here and play. getting better um, today today I'm a little stumbly but that's okay I remember when I first started it was just very rudimentary oh actually when I first started I didn't have a hand I had a, a shoulder surgery so I was playing like this <laughs> with my sh arm in a sling um, so this this was a very good thing to have when you're an athlete recovering from a surgery that makes you unable to physically achieve anything. Very good for your mental health. If everyone had a rad vast or other steel tongue drum or a hand pan, I feel like the world would be a better place, to be honest. Because how many problems can you make if you're making music like that? I don't know. Anyway, thanks for uh, joining me today. I'll see you next time.